This uh, screencast is going to show you how to use um, Caltex to add in a storyboard and bring in uh, images from a digital camera. So in this uh, case here I have a new Caltex file open. Um, as you can see I've jotted down some stuff in um, screenplay mode where I would write my script. But you don't need to have this done to do a storyboard. Um, all you need to do is press add and then you can select storyboard from the different options there and you'll have a storyboard tab. Uh, now the thing with the storyboard is that it defaults to show both, uh, which puts a, a, a heading for your different uh, shots and then a space for your image and then a space for a sketch. Now the thing is that you almost certainly won't want to use a sketch. So you just want to change that to show images. That way it'll save a lot of blank space uh, on your finished storyboard. So just have it like that. Now um, you may want to give your scene uh, a name um, like um, ext day mom moves to car or something like that which is what mine is and then you can then uh, basically select which type of shot you're going to have first so I'm going to have a wide shot first and you can then add in your image so you just click add image and here I'm going to have to try and find the image that I need so in my case I have um, somewhere in here a folder for compressed images and I notice uh, if you watched the earlier screencast I'm using the compressed images because they're much much smaller in file size than the original images which would be far too big so if I press compressed I can just select my first uh, image that I want press open and in it goes it's sort of a establishing shot of a house and I can put in some uh, notes uh, or that and that's my first shot done. So it's easy enough to add in another shot. You just gotta go to the bottom corner and you've got an add shot option, which will bring in another shot. And you just really repeat the process. Uh, click add image, add in your next image, and it goes. And as you can see, that's a close up. And then I can add in some extra notes here, um, like, and so on. And you basically then keep going. Uh, it does three shots in a row and then as you add more shots it puts them onto a separate row uh, down beneath and if you keep it up like that you'll end up with a complete uh, set of shots for a scene um, you will then have to um, possibly once you've finished that scene uh, add in uh, a new sequence so you press add sequence and you've now got uh, sequence 2 underneath so this would be for example all of your shots for the first scene which maybe takes place outside or something and down here you will then have the next scene and you just repeat the process to add in your different shots for it. Um, just make sure you've got show images selected, make sure you save your project often and when you have it done then you can print it to um, PDF to Adobe so that you can submit your work. Now for this to be uh, the case you probably will have to do it on the school computers um, but you probably will be able to figure out some way uh, to get it onto a PDF so if you just go to file and print and select Adobe PDF from your list. Um, I think Acrobat Pro has to be installed for this, but it is on the C2K machines. If not, you can do it on the Macs. You just press OK, and it will then make a, a storyboard PDF document, which is how your coursework has to be submitted, uh, out of your Caltex document. The strange thing is, if, if you press C, it always says it can't find the path. So the thing to do is just to rename it, just to give it a different name. So just leave us .pdf at the end and delete the other stuff and whatever you want and press save and as you can see uh, it's now making the pdf uh, once that's finished you'll have a finished pdf uh, that looks like uh, this is going to come up on the screen just about now i have only made it earlier okay so that's how it would end up looking once you have all of uh, your material in. It's pretty neat and it saves you a lot of trouble uh, using Word instead.